Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel 101, and today I have some new amazing add-ons from the market that are going to blow your mind. These include a split screen add-on that lets you easily compare your previous render with new ones, a weather add-on, asset collections, and more. So let's dive in. Starting with the split add-on, this tool does something simple yet crucial for any artist. Every time you render, it stores your render so you can compare your old and new versions at any point. It also provides a slider to seamlessly transition between the two views. I can't overstate how valuable a tool like this is. It's an easy way to determine whether your changes are improving your render or making it worse. From the split add-on, let's move straight to controlling weather with the physical weather add-on. You can control the weather in your scenes with just a single click, from snowing to raining, drizzling, or back to a sunny day. What I love about this add-on is how well it integrates with your scene, automatically adding wet maps, snow layers, and water effects to objects. The weather effects are fully customizable. For example, you can change the wind direction and it will dynamically affect water surfaces. Plus, you get adjustable presets that make setting up an entire scene a breeze. Speaking of control, how about generating buildings? Rio City is a new procedure building generator that can create different architecture styles. What I like about it is how you can start with a simple cube and turn it into a large mall, an apartment complex, or even a skyscraper. The generator takes care of everything from textures and materials to windows, doors, facades, and shops. All you have to do is select which parts should be shops, doors, or additional floors, and the system will handle the rest. While procedure buildings are great, sometimes you want to go even bigger, like ancient Egypt big. That's where you invest into asset collections, like this Empire of Sands collection. This kit features a vast array of high-quality assets for building ancient cities, with over 45 main assets and 250 mesh objects, all textured with PBR materials. These assets are also compatible with the G-Scatter add-on, so if you want to quickly populate an area and transform it into a thriving desert city, you can do so with just a few clicks. If you're looking for something different, Gribble Town also has a steampunk theme collection. The level of detail on this building is impressive, with over 30 structures and 100 plus additional objects included. Like the desert collection, all assets feature 4K PBR textures, are lightweight and optimized for easy scattering, allowing you to populate large environments without compromising viewport performance. Ribotown has been creating these asset packs for a while, so they have a few of these packs, including a space station kit. If you are working on a sci-fi scene with space elements, this pack will be incredibly useful. When paired with this cutter, you can effortlessly build spawning space colonies in just a few minutes. If you're working with large scenes, for example using the assets above, a great way to showcase your cities is through smooth drone-like camera shots. Animating cinematic fly-throughs in Blender, especially without camera cuts, can be tricky. But this add-on makes it much easier by allowing you to control the camera using a gamepad. This makes navigating large environments intuitive and fun, definitely worth checking out. Deforming objects along a curb in Blender can be frustrating, but this add-on simplifies the process with a new modifier that makes stretching, deforming, and aligning objects to curves much more intuitive, whether you are working on organic shapes or mechanical designs. This tool makes it significantly easier to achieve smooth and natural deformations. Now, take a look at this collection of 3D scanned fruits. I included this in the list for everyone in the advertising industry. If you create commercials in Blender or any other DCC for a living, this collection is for you. No industry uses fruits as much as the advertising industry, whether it's for a beverage commercial, a soda ad, medicine, perfume, or almost any other type of commercial, you will often need realistic looking fruits. This collection features high quality 3D scanned fruits, including apples, oranges, lemons, avocados, and many more. If you need photorealistic fruits for your projects, this collection is a must have. Speaking of collections, check out this business interior collection by Evermotion. It includes ready to render interior scenes, 
for bars, restaurants, coffee shops, cafes, workspaces, hotel lobbies, and more. All fully customizable in Blender. Whether you are designing commercial spaces or visualizing architectural interiors, this collection offers a wide range of high quality assets to help you achieve the exact look you want. Every day there is a video about new Blender add ons on the market from different creators across YouTube. This either highlights the creative genius of Blender add on developers or shows how reliant Blender has become on add on. Depending on the artist, this could be seen as a good thing or a bad thing. Personally, I think it's great because we get features that would take years to be implemented in Blender. However, I can also understand the other perspective. Either way, as an artist, choosing the most efficient workflow is key. It allows you to focus more on creativity rather than the technical side of things. If you share this mindset, allow me to introduce you to Houdini. I'm sure you have already heard of it. So I will get straight to the point. If you want to learn Houdini, I have created a beginner friendly course tailored specifically for Blender artists. Houdini is essentially the ultimate add-on. Anything Blender add-ons can do, Houdini can often do better with more control. This course makes learning Houdini much easier, especially if you are coming from Blender. You can also check out my Geometry Nodes course, which will help you rely less on add-ons by teaching you how to create your own tools. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.